Hi, my name is Mike Ward. I'm the Global Director of Content at uh, Informa Pharma Insights. I'm here at the uh, JP Morgan and Biotech Showcase meetings here in San Francisco. And as you can sort of see, the Biotech Showcase is, uh, is pretty buzzing uh, with, with people here. Uh, I'm now joined by uh, uh, Marku Yalkinen, who's the President and CEO of Farron Pharmaceuticals, which is a, a Finnish company that last November raised 10 million pounds uh, floating on the London Stock Exchange alternative investment market. So that was actually a, a, a sort of a fairly challenging time because there were already murmurs about whether the IPO market was closed or not. That is correct and we are really happy for being able to do it. Yeah. So why did you choose London in the first place? Uh, we wanted to get out of the Finland, yeah. get more close to the major capital markets and, and London is a very natural thing for us. Right. One major reason was that the previous trials we had done were also done in the UK. So our principal investigator was already based in London. Right. So it's very close really for that purpose as well. Okay, okay. So you raised 10 million pounds. Right. Um, so in your investor prospectus, what, what did you sort of, how did, how did you describe the use of the proceeds? What, what, what are you going to do with that money? The main purpose is really to complete the European development of our main lead product. That is right. a condition called ARDS, Acute Respiratory Disease Syndrome, yeah. that kills 30 to 40 percent of the, of the victims. Right. And yeah. there's no pharma, pharmacological treatment today for it. No. So we are now in the pivotal part and, and having that done, we hope to be able to file the marketing approval application in Europe. All right, so it's actually, so how many patients have you... Three, 300 patients for this trial. Right, yeah. uh, uh, across Europe. And Seven countries in Europe, 55 sites. Okay, and how does it work, your, your, this, this molecule? It prevents the leakage to the lungs. Right. In other words, if you have a condition that destroys your lungs, you actually get infiltration of fluid and, and cells and you can't breathe anymore. Right. It's very simple. You are then put into ventilator and the oxygen is forced through your system in, 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 in order to oxygenate you at, at a certain level. Right. We prevent this leakage and the patients basically recover much faster. We drop the mortality by 80% in our previous trial, which nobody has seen before. So right. we are really hopeful that we will actually will have help for these patients. Okay, okay. And, and, and is it a, a sort of a big market? I mean, in terms of like how many people would actually have this condition? Uh, we, we have an orphan in, in Europe, meaning that we have less than five out of 100,000 patients. In, so we are talking about maybe 150,000 patients in, in Europe, a bit more in, in US. And it's presumably, it's, it's a hospital. It is a hospital, ICU, yeah. Yeah, yeah. ICU, yeah. 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 And where did the molecule originally come from? It's a collaboration with the academic unit, which is based in the same town where the company is located, Turku in Finland. Right, okay. And so how long has it been in development? I mean, so when, we, when it we really went active in 07. Right, the company's founded in 07. Yeah, right. So, and one of the first things was really to apply for the orphan a status for the product itself and that we got in, in, in at the end of the seven. Right, okay. Then came to, to UK to do the first part of the clinical development, got excellent results, published in Lancet and now we are heading to this pivotal part. Okay, so so who funded the company up to this stage? Because I mean obviously mainly mainly money. private private money. Right. No no VC money and some few bigger institutions. Right, okay. And then all the soft money you are able to collect. We have EU fund for this pivotal part, which is six million euro right. alone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you're able to tap into sort of European Commission yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. funds. Yeah. yeah, and locals also in Finland. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you, you're at the stage where you're you've, you've done the pivotal studies. So you're hoping to actually you, you, you're now going to file for approval. No, this is the final stage of the development. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So within the next 18 months or so, we should have the answer if we get the really permission to go to the market. Okay, so, so, so what, what, what's the key milestone then? What, what we, we, we have the pivotal results from yeah. this ongoing trial right. in okay. Europe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's what the 10 million is going to be Here's used for. for. Yeah. Yeah. What other assets do, do, does Farron have or is, are you a single asset? No, no, not at all. We have another important project and, and that is very popular area, of course, it's immune, immune oncology. Everybody's talking about, but yeah. we have a very unique target. And we didn't just create that for this purpose. We have been working on it already for a while. Yeah. And that is a molecule that actually builds. Uh, uh, it's on the surface of the 
tumor associated macrophages that build a shield around the tumor to prevent the host immune system to recognize the cancer cells. Right. And with our antibody, we actually knock out these cells so that the tumor cells become vulnerable for host immune system. Right. And we already have done this in animals and now hoping to get the humanized antibodies in the man during the next 12, 18 months. So these what these are these are human antibodies that yeah, you yeah, so yeah. okay right. and and wh where did where did that technology come from or from the same university in Turku yeah right. yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah so we are academic driven but take them out from the academic institutions because they cannot really do the any right. any clinical development and that 10 million you raised I mean uh, would any of that money go to some the, the development some of them some of that. Again, we succeeded to get soft money also for this other project, which is called Clevergen. Yeah. Uh, the target is Clever One and it's an antibody, so that's the reason why we call it Clevergen. And, and we got some soft money also to support that development. Right, right. Okay. So, so if, 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 if we're sort of looking at where, where the company is at the moment, you're at this meeting to find new investors or are you to look new investors partners? but also US as a market because we have been mainly focusing in Europe right. so we have want to come over over this side of the Atlantic as well right. and and that means that we probably need to get resources from here in order to carry out some of the clinical activities what is needed for FDA right. to file the marketing approval okay but as as the company goes forward I mean so if you you yeah in ARDS but are you also potentially in immuno oncology I mean yeah. In five years' time, what, what, what kind of label right. would I be giving you? Right. We call this ARDS product as a Tromakine. It's the name of the project. Tromakine right. uh, is an interesting case because we know the end users. Those are the hospitals which have ICU units. In Europe, it's roughly 3,500. Here in the US, 5,000. So it could be a possibility for us really to try to maintain, and we do have rights both in the US and, and Europe. We have licensed some of the countries in far Asia, but, but not nothing else. So maybe we could actually consider keeping the rights as long as possible right. and even think building up a, a sales force. But this is the opportunity we haven't really decided yet. Right. Okay, so, so you sort of, you can sort of see Farron developing that way. The immuno-oncology aspect... That has to that be licensed. That has to be licensed. So, yeah. and so at what stage are you looking to... Would like to make that? the proof of concept in man. Right. Yeah. But now a lot of people are talking about this synergistic kind of a drug use in cancer so maybe yeah. we have to really look for the collaboration early on right. yeah. Right. yeah good well Marku thank you very much thank for, for stopping by yeah. and telling us the yeah. story thank you thank, thank you, you. Yeah.